Hey guys, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build this nice small medieval storage facility. As you can see, I have my new computer. Uh, it came in yesterday, and uh, I can now upload videos with no lag. So, yeah, without much talking, what that we just start with this tutorial. Okay, what you want to start with if, is, of course, take your locks and make a shape like this, so corner there, then leave... Leave three blocks three, and then another corner, then again three blocks three, corner, three blocks, corner, and do the same thing on this side, and on, no, and on this side as well, like so. Now you want to um, expand all these locks up to four blocks high. Just like that. Okay, what you want to do now is just to uh, make sidewall locks in between the locks, and this one has to be a lock facing. Huh? This one has to be a lock facing to where you are. So do this. Uh, do this on every side, of course. So. Like that. Okay, what you want to do now is to, in every corner, place a two block lock high pillar, so, like this, and do this on every side. Like so, what you can do now is just simply make a roof looking shape, like so, and again do this on every side. Okay, once you've done that, you can decide for yourself uh, which side is going to be the major door. So, in this video, I'm going to use this part. Then you make some windows here, you can just fill this part up, then mm, small window there, window, um, maybe, yeah, just like this, fill this part up again, and And I think this will look nice. Okay, um, now for this first or second floor. And just place one lock right there. The one on each side, of course. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, um, what you can do now is just t take your locks and place some sideway locks on these uh, corner pillars. And do that of, on every side, of course. Like so. And, yeah, that's basically everything for the locks. Now what you want to do is take your uh, cobblestone first. And just fill in these parts. And you can, yeah, already randomization, uh, randomize a bit with, for example smooth stone and uh yeah stone books there so Okay, like this. Now for this part where you want your major door, you just take your spruce wood. Why? Just take your spruce wood stairs and place two upside down, um, two upside down spruce wood stairs underneath those locks. And 
Now for the second floor. Just take your jungle wood and place that like this. On every side. You can also use, um, for example, stone or uh, wool, but I think jungle wood looks good in these buildings. Okay, that's that. Now you can uh, take your oak wood stairs and place them like so. Then on this part, it's an overhang of one block. And now just work your way to the top. And on the top, it's just slabs from here to there. And for the roofs ending I'm using, it's just a stair there, and an upside down stair right there. And yeah, I'm going to time lapse the part of building the rest of the roof, so see you in a second. Okay, just like that. Um, before we continue with um, detailing this roof, we have to first uh, make some randomization in the uh, jungle wood, and we have to film the windows on the f yeah on the lowest level. I prefer to use glass, but you can also use fences if you want to. Then on the second floor, I like to use fences. And again, you can also use other materials, but I think fences look the best. Okay, then take your buttons and your wooden buttons and place your stone buttons on these logs and your wooden buttons on these so I'm going to do that on every side now like so now you take your fences and place them underneath those uh, logs Like that. Okay. Um, now, take your logs again and place them like this. And of course, do the same thing on the other side as well. Then take your cobblestone walls and place them on top well this looks good but if you have oh well if you are building on a server and you have access to world edit then I prefer to do this so slash slash set 17 something uh, 12 and you create this log with uh, yeah, wood on every side, so in my opinion it looks better. So the same thing for this one.
and for this one as well. Okay, of course you have to repeat this on that side as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. Now for the inside, just take your logs and create a large pillar like this. And then, yeah, just logs, side wall logs again, like so. So it creates this kind of shape. Now you make one supporting pillar there, and one there. And now for up here, you can use your planks, not your planks, your slabs to make a uh, like platform where you can store other things. For example, uh, make it day. It is day. Wow. For example, um, hey. So just randomly place that here. So like that. And yeah, I can do this on all those sides as well. Um, I prefer to use um, stone for the yeah, the floor, but you can leave it with gravel or grass, it's just what you prefer. Okay, now for the last part on this side, or on the other side, just make a door like so, and place a cobblestone stair right there. And yeah, that's basically your storage facility. So I hope you've liked this tutorial and if you do please subscribe and also subscribe to everyone in the description below and also tell in the comments below what you want to see next time and I will see you next time so bye bye.